Good morning, Glenn. What is up, YouTube? And welcome back to Bike Up Japan. So tonight you're joining me on a journey up to the northwest of England to Manchester, the city famous for Manchester United, Oasis, and uh, that's about all I can tell you about that. Anyway, we're heading out to a place called Media City, which is where the BBC is based. Um, tomorrow I'm going go over there for a little, a little meeting. So tonight I'm going to go and do a recce, make sure I've got the right place for tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, find somewhere to sleep for the night. But while we're in the city of Manchester, I figured it would be rude not to have a ride around, check out the sights and sounds. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm missing about Japan or what I'm finding good about England. So we'll go over a few pros and cons, but before I do that, I'm freezing my balls off and there's a service station in 15 miles. So I'm gonna stop, get some fuel and get a coffee inside my belly. All right. <sighs> Fuck me, that was 12 pounds 85 for seven liters. Look, I'll show you the bloody Bloody, bloody, bloody fuck you, bloody! Look at that, £12.85 for 7.18 litres. Ridiculous. All right, so I've made it out to Media City. It's very impressive, actually. It's massive. It's pretty cool looking at night. Can't wait to come back tomorrow and have a look what it looks like in the daytime, but tons of stuff to do. There's loads of cafes and restaurants and stuff as well. Um, the BBC is behind me, that building with the blue lights. Uh, ITV, the other um, TV stations here, and there is a train station here that goes directly to Media City from um, maybe I guess from the Manchester city centre and outside. So, very cool place. But anyway, let's get on the bike and go and have a bit of an explore. While enjoying the sights and sounds of Manchester's Media City, and attempting to film cinematic b-roll with a GoPro at night, which is a useless endeavour, some complete asshole had decided it would be fun to kick over my beautiful Kawasaki. Needless to say, in about 10 seconds I'm going to be very, very angry. Okay, just come back, found my fucking bike on the floor. Some fucking wanker has obviously kicked it over because there's no way it fell over by fucking self. Unfucking real. The bike started again. There's uh, that that I thought was oil at first. I thought maybe they fucked a, a case, but that's just fuel that's leaked out of the carbs. So the obviously they were a bit flooded or empty, whichever one. So it took a bit to get it going. Uh, so I come back to the bike and didn't get this on camera, but this old boy come up to me and goes, oh, that's a, that's a shame or something like that. And I said, yeah, I don't know how that happened. And he goes, I do. I just saw two little shits kick it over. They were riding sco those little electric scooters and they just kicked it over. Fucking assholes. Now, luckily there's not much damage. Like obviously it still rides. There's no broken levers. There's no uh, broken footrest or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, he told me they went this way, so <laughs> I want to go and give him a kicking, but you know the way things are in this fucking day and age, I'll probably get locked up and put in jail or something for doing that, so I think I'll just have to forget it, which obviously is not the way I was hoping this fucking day was going to gonna end out, and it's put me in a proper bad mood, so I'm going to go, go back to the fucking uh, hotel and have a beer now. But if I see any suspicious looking kids, I am tempted to just get off and bash them and show them what a bit of carbon on the knuckles can do. Little fucks. But yeah, uh, so I guess then, you know, the things I don't like about England, that's going to be the first one. Nothing like this has ever happened in Japan. Never had any sort of... Ah, oh, is the headlights not working? Oh shit. Headlights are not on. Is that because the switch or what? Oh no. Come on, where's the fucking light switch? I can't see shit. Where's the light switch on this fucker? 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, so to say I'm in a bad mood is uh, not, not really giving the full picture, is it? So fuck it, back to the hotel. England fucking sucks. Let's get back to Japan ASAP. All right, guys, so you know I always try and stay positive. I gotta say, this Indian restaurant at the hotel is the best curry I've ever had. So yeah, good job Bombay 8. Anyway, so let's have a quick look at the bike. So in the cold light of day, the damage isn't actually that bad. It's obviously cosmetic, as you can see there, lots of scratches on the fairing. Um, the exhaust as well has got dents and scratches in it and a bit of coolant leaked out and went onto the bodywork so I've got to clean that off. Other thing is the bar end is scratched. Luckily the lever isn't scratched and neither is the mirror but the indicator um, is cracked. But basically considering pair of yobs kick the bike over it's not actually that terrible so the good thing is there's no damage to the tank can't see any dents on the tank there's a slight scratch there which might have been me anyway another time but the seat as well the seat the seat cowl is not damaged at all so overall I think I got quite lucky really considering it could have been a lot worse but yeah what to do got to fix it but uh, anyway I'm gonna go ride home now and I'm not gonna bother doing the pros and cons of England versus Japan today because I'm in a bad mood so we'll do that in another video can you shut up please